it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. Okay. It's the Nation of Podcasting Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Uncle Luke says that 50 Cent needs to keep his mouth shut and quit disrespecting Rick Ross after Rick Ross beat up in Canada. Now, as we all know, we've seen the viral video of Rick Ross, the whole altercation that happened between him and the Canadian fans. They tried to beat him up, tried to jump him. They knocked out people in his entourage, but Rick Ross and them escaped. Now, we all know 50 Cent's the ultimate troll. He went to his Instagram and started posting all sorts of stuff about Rick Ross clowning Rick Ross, putting Rick Ross baby mama on there just talking crazy about rick ross even going so far as to going online with other celebrities calling out rick ross laughing joking about the situation well in a recent post uncle luke says we don't need this in hip-hop no more what if something worse would have happened somebody could have died and you guys are making fun about the situation let's take a look at this clip from luke everybody else who think it's a joke it's not a joke boss and i i expect more out of my elder rappers, everything ain't funny. Everything ain't joke business. Everything ain't joke business. I expect guys who've been in the game for a long time, this is not the time. When people go to putting hands on people, this is not the time to joke. This ain't no joke, bro. <laughs> this is not the time to joke, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't joke. And then when you invoke 305 in that? <laughs> the 305 killers? That you don't want to do. This one thing about it, we got a whole bunch of people down here that, that I said a long time ago. We got a whole bunch of people down here that I said a long time ago. Y'all need to check these people at the door. But then obviously we had a lot of groupie ass people around here start bringing these dudes around here and allowing them to just come run up and down here. But, but... They run around on South Beach. Let me just let y'all know that right now. That's South Beach. The door could close for all you real quick. The door could close for everybody. Don't invoke 305 in your jokes. Uh, the dream chasers? About that situation because you you invoke a whole a whole situation. So play your little games with your words. If you want to do wordplay with Ross and anybody else, do your little wordplay with all that, but don't say, keep 305 out your mouth. The 305 killers? <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you right now, because it, 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 everybody everybody has, some, has a part of their city where people really bleed this shit. Everybody has a part of their city. I don't care whether you're from Raleigh, North Carolina. You could be from Fayetteville. You could be from Brooklyn. You could be from the Bronx. You could be from Inglewood. You could, everybody, you got people on, on, everywhere that bleed this. They ain't really with the Hollywoodness. I'm telling you right now. It's a lot of people who ain't buy, ain't, and don't play like that. So when you're doing your little games with the, with your rappers and you're running off at the mile and you're joking them and all that, don't joke. Don't joke my city. I'm telling you that right now. Just don't joke the city, boss. Don't joke the city. We ain't no jokes. That part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and got knocked the out like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That you see, we are not South Beach. What you see over there on South Beach, that's them over there. People down here bleed. Don't joke. Don't joke the city. So I'm just going to leave that like that. But for the most part, people, as an elder statesman that has seen two of my good friends, Biggie and Park, die senselessly, and it wasn't by them pulling the trigger on them, each other, it was the people that surround them, I would hope that you two gentlemen get your together Mr. Drake and Mr. Mr. Ross because I don't want this to end like that it shouldn't end like that I'm going to be the elder statesman of it all you don't want that I leave it like that
Y'all can cut this up however y'all want to cut it up. But I said it and I stand firm on it. Y'all have a nice night. Nation, what do you think about Luke's comments? Do you think 50 Cent was right to troll his arch enemy Rick Ross after Rick Ross went through that altercation in Canada? Or do you side with Uncle Luke saying that, hey, this is childish. We should leave this alone. We don't need this in hip hop no more. We need to be trying to bring each other up as black people. Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Hey. Shay and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.